some of you have dreams. I don't know. So, Zach earlier was talking about the community. And I can't express this enough. Community is so important. I teach this to my children. I teach this to my uh, people that I'm in business with. Uh, I teach this to my spouse. She teaches me as well. But this is so true. You know, the, you become the average of the five people that you're with. It's, it's proven over and over and over again. You become those people. You do what they do. You make what they make. Uh, you do the good things they do, and you do the bad things they do. So that's why I value this community so much, is because of the quality of people here. But I'm amongst people that are hungry. You know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Hungry. You won't make this. You, this won't work if you're not hungry. So you've got to be hungry for this. You've got to want this ba uh, better than anything else, if that's proper English, which is probably not. There's a lot of science with what we do. A lot of science. So, you know, number one, being trustworthy is really, really important. But if I look at this, the thing that I want to point out to you is that people make a... Oh, did I go back a slide? Sorry about that. People make a decision on your trustworthiness within a tenth of a second. Science has shown us that. A tenth of a second. And then Princeton researchers found... Uh, this also to be true, that when they looked at this and did an analysis of this, they found out by giving one group of university students 100 milliseconds to rate the attractiveness, competence, likability, aggressiveness, and trustworthiness, it factors in what's going on with your face. Now, when you're good looking like this, it helps you. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But think about that a little bit. What can you do in sales that's going to help this immediately? There's two things that come to mind. What's number one? You tell me. Smile. Smile. Nice job. Are you smiling when you're out and about? If you leave the house and you're in a bad mood and you're not smiling, you should be. Because you're here, you're in America, you have a community that loves you, probably have a family that loves you, with few exceptions. Smile. We have a lot to live for here in this country. You know, when I look at other countries, even our neighbors, like Canada, for instance, or Greenland, Iceland, people aren't rushing to get into those countries like they are here. There's a reason for that. There's a lot to be excited about. Now watch this. Check this out. A University of Pennsylvania study found that men with shaved heads were rated as more dominant than similar men with full heads of hair. Go like this. Go, hmm. Isn't that interesting? And, uh, and that men whose hair was digitally removed were perceived as more dominant, taller, and stronger than their authentic selves. Now, I'm looking out in the crowd here, and I'm thinking, I got my hair clippers in my bag back there. I can make this happen. You want to get good at sales? Spend 10 minutes with me. Let me clip the hair. Some of you, let's just be honest, you need to let me finish God's work, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 